My name's Richard Pomeroy. I'm a painter, mostly oil on canvas, acrylic on linen. The painting behind me is called Fall Elder. I made it a few years ago, and it's about mankind and the relationship with nature. It's actually me, a body print, and very carefully painted elderflowers that seem to be supporting me, or maybe I'm plunging into them. I'm immersed in nature. As an artist, I'm immersed in nature. That's what I do. But the body print people find quite difficult. I think it's a, a fantastic way to associate that man is involved with the subject of the painting. It's got a seriously long history, the body print. In Chauvet Cave, 37,000 years ago, they were putting their hands up on the walls of the cave and blowing, uh, uh, blowing pigment and leaving their handprint behind. Or they were covering their hands with, with pigment and making an impression of their hand on the wall. That's a fantastic image to come across. You can have this idea that you are exactly in the same place as a man 30, or woman 37,000 years ago. Zips are crucial. They come across brilliantly in body prints, every single little detail. And again, they give this context. It's a modern thing. So this is modern man immersed in nature. And we're getting it all wrong. And I hope that these paintings will help people understand that we must be close with nature. There's another project I'm doing. Uh, it's called Imprint of Conflict. I've been working with a soldier called Darren Swift. Swifty, I call him. And he is a soldier who lost both his legs in Northern Ireland in 1992. He agreed with me that it was going to be OK for him to lie down in wet paint and make some body prints with me. Because, of course, his condition means that he's going to create some extremely powerful and resonating images. Uh, the resulting images are extremely strong, I think. They really do talk a great deal about survival and techniques for uh, modern medicine. And the fact that he survived and got through such trauma and ended up as a human who can then make art, I thought was a very positive message. And one of the things that makes these images much more powerful to actually be with is a concept that I call chain lightning. You know, so maybe you're sitting in Dickens' chair. That's pretty special if you're a writer. Or right up beside a Picasso painting. You know he stood right there and looked at it in the same sort of intimate detail as you're, you're looking at it. Well, with those Chauvet Cave guys and their handprints, 37,000 years old, you can feel you can crush time in a fraction of a second. And you're there 37,000 years ago. Well, with Swifty and his image, you see it on the wall, and you're intimately involved with this guy. 